is it a really hard test physically no, to get into actually, it? No, actually, I looked up the requirements and I just practiced before I went and like got. I made sure I could exceed the standards. So by the time I got there, I was like not the dumb blonde chick with, you know. So you're really blonde. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <It's real>. Yeah. <laughs> When I'm in the sun, like I said, I, I was in Hawaii surfing, so I would like be bleach blonde. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Now it's a little, it's a little fake right now. But <laughs> <laughs> still blonde. <laughs> wow. So how long yeah. do you last in the army? I was in the army for five years. Um, I was a machine gunner, and I finished my service as a sergeant. So I had soldiers. I was kind of in charge of people. It was it was a lot of responsibility. What is a machine gunner? Um, the M240 machine gun. So where, where were you stationed that you were using this weapon? Uh, Hawaii at a combat unit. Oh, okay. Yeah. But so you didn't actually have to go to war or anything? No, we no. trained for it. I trained five years to go to war and I never went, which is probably a good thing. You Ro- know? Yeah, I would say. Wow. Definitely. Yeah. Cause I don't hear great stories. So. Probably a lot easier to sleep at night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you never had to mow down a crowd of people. Yeah. Wow. Um, Okay. But so, no, down a crowd of I mean, I'm just like imagining like worst case scenario. That's to me that join the military. Worst thing that happens is you die. Second worst thing is that you, you have to trauma. kill a fuckload of people and then you come back all fucked all up. Fucked right? up. Yeah. yeah. How I many women were you around on a daily basis? Not a lot. I was one of the only females in my combat unit. I think there was like maybe two other ones, but I don't know. Were all these dudes trying to bang you? Yeah. <laughs> of course. That's yeah. what I was thinking. I was like, God, I'd feel so uncomfortable being outnumbered by yes. that many men. And I was like, sure I, was hate that. That. Yeah. I would hate that. <laughs> That's kinda hot though. I was in a com- <laughs> in a combat unit, it's like all the most manly men to right, go, right? Yeah. Like Rangers and special forces. I mean these these are the dudes on earth who have chosen to take people's lives for a career, basically. Yeah. And all they want to do when they're off work is fuck pussy. Fuck, yeah. yeah. And so, so it was hard. Like I lived in the barracks, so like it felt like a dorm, but I was like the only girl, and all men. So people would like steal my panties out of the laundry room. What? If I wanted to fuck someone, you could hear it through the whole barracks. Right. Because <laughs> I'm a little loud. <laughs> but you were getting it in in the barracks, or did you have to be super low key about doing this? Oh no, no one really cared. No one really? cared. What? No. I thought it would be, like, th- such a big deal. Yeah, because no. nobody else is getting late. Like, such a tiny percentage <laughs> people of people. would hear me. Yeah, they would film my noises and then jerk off to it. So what? you're like, I'm already doing porn, <laughs> like, through you the wall. You can jerk off to a noise? That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I, I never even knew that. Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely jerk off to a noise. <laughs> wow. How many guys do you think you slept with in, in the entirety? Honestly, of- I wasn't such a slut, like, in the beginning. I got married really fast. In the military? Yeah. Yeah. There was a guy, he wouldn't date me, um, and it pissed me off, so I married his best friend. And that helped me get out. Because if you get married in the military, you get to get your own house off post. Uh huh. So I did that really fast. Wow. Are you, are you guys still married? No, I'm very divorced. But okay. it, was, it was good very in the divorced. moment. How long did it last? <laughs> like two years. Two years. Yeah, it was good in the moment, though. So you get divorced and you're still in the military. I got divorced. Yeah, still in. I finished my last year. I was actually stationed my last year in Monterey at the Language Institute out there. Uh-huh. So I did that for a year and then I got out. Wow. Yeah. And so at what point does it start creeping in your head? Like, hey, maybe I'm going to do porn. Yeah. How did this transition happen? Like the the entire mill. Like since I was a kid, I've always thought about it. I feel like, don't we all kind of think about it? I had never thought about it. Really? Nope. I had not thought about it with any sort of seriousness until much later in life. No, I mean, a lot of girls that I do talk to on here, I feel like they're like, I always knew I wanted it from the time I saw my first Playboy, but I was never like that. Oh, I was just curious. It's so, how old are you? 25. And I mean, you come from a very different generation than me and to an extent her because like, you know, we're, we're interviewing a girl yesterday who said that she was like planning out her OnlyFans while she was in high school before she was even of age. It's like so now weird. it's so approachable for me the whole time that I was jerking off the porn as a kid, even when I had the Internet in the early days. Yeah. It never in a million years crossed my mind that I could do this or that I, you know. I couldn't even name a porn star like six years ago before mm. I got into it. Like I knew Jenna Jameson, but that was okay. like literally oh. it. So I, yeah, totally different yeah. frame of mind. I actually didn't know any porn stars either. Actually, Nikki Benz. I was a huge Nikki Benz fan. And then mm. I just worked with her a few days ago. I was like, is this real? And we just had her on Plug Talk recently. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. I love her. She was great. OG. OG. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so you had always kind of thought about it, but then how do you actually go about it? And and you had to leave the military before you went for it, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, actually, while I was in, um, the guy I was married to, he had a lot of girlfriends who were cam girls. And I was seeing how much money these girls were making. They didn't work. Like, I was like, what the fuck? How are you making so much money buying all these designer things? And then I was like, you guys are tripling my military paycheck. 
off of like a few nights of camming. Mm. So I started playing with that while I was in the military. I don't think mm. that's like legal. You were camming. Yeah, I right. started camming while I was in like uh, so I would get done with work and then I would hop on camp all night mm. and then go to work the next day. But you, it was you worth nervous it. About it at all, like being no. undercover. Because being on cam, you know, it's like you're. you're There's so many. So, so 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 few people, and it's not yeah. like it's on social media. It's like harder to find I could it. Put I put a like. different name. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was not worried. So I did that for a while, and that's what really opened my eyes to sex work and like how much money you can fucking make. And mm. yeah, so I um, ended up getting out of the military because I saw I could live off my cam money, and then the fucking pandemic happened. And I was like, fuck, like, I thought I was going to go to college and use my GI Bill. I thought I was going to go maybe be a stripper, like work as a bottle girl, but all the clubs closed. So I was just stuck in my room camming. And I was like, this is lonely as fuck. In Hawaii? Um, this here? is when I was in Monterey. So she okay. in got, I got out in Monterey, of... yeah. Okay. And I didn't know anyone and I was away from family, just alone as fuck. And the pandemic was scary, you guys. Like even in LA... It was crazy. It was like ghost town here. Yeah. yeah. It was really it's weird. easy to forget how extreme it was. Yeah. And all the protests going on with everything happening. Mm. So, yeah, eventually um, my fans were like, you know, you're really fucking good at this. Like, you're good at performing. You're good at engaging with the camera. You should go and try professional porn. So I did. How did yeah. you end up doing that? Like, I reached what, what? out to agencies like um, Spiegler, anyone I could, like anyone I could find on AVN the avian website and then someone finally like it was a random next level it was like a random agency they were like you know you don't have a product to show us like we don't know if you can actually perform or do this but we'll send you to arizona shoot with an amateur company and if you do well we'll take you and i went it went viral and then they called me the next day what, what happened what went viral yeah just my my story i think that i'm like a machine gunner they kind of like really pushed that mm. in the scene yeah okay they really pushed like it was just um what's that fucking site exploded college girls wow there's a whole there's a lot of different sites i don't <laughs> yeah. know about I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> study what, all what a name that is isn't yeah it? <laughs> well it tells you everything um, yeah um but they were really pressing like machine gunner gets fucking rammed or something like they named it something like that and then people were like whoa okay the clip you just watched was from plug talk which is my adult podcast that i do with len of the plug where every week we interview a different girl and then we get nasty. So if you want to see the full thing, onlyplugtalk.com, $5 for your first month. Appreciate y'all.